Eh, that's better. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we are taking a look at Brad Sweet's 2021 Napa Chevy Sprint Car, Casey Kane Racing Sprint Car. You know what it is. It's a Casey Kane Racing built Sprint Car with a Chevy motor. Eh, let's go with that. Uh, anyway, as you can see in front of me here, we're going to take a look at the artwork. We've got uh, the car inside as well. You can see we got Brad Sweet, number 164 scale die cast. you got the big cat, and then you got uh, the picture of the number 49 car in the background. You know, smoke coming off the tires and all that. There you see uh, the car inside the box there. And um, on the back, you can see it just says the big cat, Grass Valley, California, and then Napa 2021 champion, by the way three-time champ um but while we're at it let's go ahead and even talk about it so these boxes are uh crimped all the way around and that is how they are sealed so they're sealed with crimps that means you can't pop them open and put them back together and all that junk here's what i have done i did the james mcfadden video we all saw that i think i thought of something else if you are a person who enjoys hanging your die cast if you cut it around the bottom and just cut the edges off just trim the edges um you can still pop the back open you can still get this little card out which you know it's just an artwork card is all it is kind of neat though you know it's got decent art on it um for brad sweet and then you can just pop this right out the bottom so that might be the easier way to handle it um versus you know trying to trim it top the top part down again it all comes down to how you choose to display them if you want to hang them if you want to have them on the ground um whatever you choose to do but that is completely up to you i just wanted to give you that opportunity as i tried it out and it worked okay so here's the car here you can see we've got the napa number 49 uh my favorite font uh the casey kane racing font you can see we've got the white out added this year with the blue number yellow outline napa auto parts on the front on the side you can see sweet up there but you can see all the white added to the car really does make it look different got napa and then sweet on the wing uh ase um over on the front wing we got curb records on the side of the front wing and then we got again same thing as the left side napa and the number 49 up on that wing 49 also on the tail tank there or the tank but um we also got the bumper in silver other bar in silver so uh the car looks pretty good um we'll go ahead and, oh i don't have it next to my james mcfadden one i already had the mcfadden one out um so i don't have that one next to it but overall these things don't have posable wheels they don't have anything crazy to the bottom of it i don't even think there's a secure well is there let me see if there's a no, just says 2021. So there's not even a serial number or anything with them, which is fine. These are these are really solid. Um, you know, the, the I think they're they're priced at around uh, 16 a piece, which is not bad. I think that's about what late models run, and the detail on them is pretty solid. They are a little small though. Look at this. I'll put that down. That's that that is my my finger, my pointer. It's literally like the size of the first two up to the knuckle. That's that's the whole the whole width of it, you know? So it's, it is, it seems small, I guess, uh, would be my thing, but it is a pretty cool car. I mean, they're all pretty sweet. Having 164 sprints, um, haven't seen anybody use anything for like a downhill or for a, um, stop motion yet. It'd be really cool to see someone do that. Um, the cars do look pretty good, so they should put on, you know, they should be able to go on a pretty small track. Uh, I'm not sure how, you know, one would go about that, especially with the dirt flying in the air and stuff like that. But it is a pretty cool car. I can't wait to see what the 160, uh, 124th look like. As I said, we got a uh, one Donnie shots in. The detail is incredible, so I really can't wait till we see all those other Casey Kane Racing, Kyle Larson, all of the above uh, once those all finally show up. But uh, anyway, that's really all I have to show on this one. There are a couple available on the website, so if you were interested, go ahead and check those out at rasdiecast.com. I'll have it linked in the description below. But other than that, guys, this has been Race Craze. I hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.